What's up everybody, how's it going? This is Arnold from Arnold's iOS. Thanks for tuning in. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review my 15 inch MacBook Pro. I'm gonna be doing a how to on upgrading the RAM on this specific computer. Now what you see in front of you is a 15 inch 2.3 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i7 with a turbo boost of 3.3 gigahertz and at the moment it has 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now I'm going to be upgrading that to 8 gigabytes of RAM and I have currently purchased this guy. It's the Conzair 8 gigabyte uh, set of RAM so I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it on this computer. So stick around, don't go anywhere and let's get started. Let me just show you guys that this computer at the moment has 4 gigs of RAM. If we go to about this Mac here, let me zoom in. You're able to tell at the moment it has 4 gigabytes of RAM. So within a few minutes you're going to be able to see uh, exactly how to install the Cons Air. Uh, basically just doubling the RAM that this computer has. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is that you want to uh, completely shut down your Mac. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is you want to flip it upside down and remove each one of these screws that line up the bottom of the computer. Now just keep in mind that this screw, this one and this one, these three back here, uh, they're longer screws. So you don't want to accidentally put one of these long screws in the shorter ones. Uh, it'll probably ruin some threading or anything like that and since they're very small you don't want to ruin those. You want to keep those so that everything works fine and you don't have any problems in the future. So I'm going to fast forward once I unscrew everything and once I open it, alright? Just so that you guys can see, these are the screws right here. So obviously they're a lot longer than these and you don't want to accidentally put them in here. So what I'm doing is I'm setting them aside over here and I got a little place to put them. So try to create some sort of system on your own so that you don't accidentally put one of these in, a, uh, in one of the shorter holes. Alright, so now that you've done that, the next thing that you want to do is just kind of grab it by the back end right here and everything should pop out. Don't worry, it might be a little tough to do it at first, but it easily pops out. All right guys, so like I mentioned, now that you have everything open, you're gonna wanna pull on these two levers that are right here. You pull them up on both sides, and they come up like that. So just with both hands, just pry it out. It easily comes out. Put that aside, and at the bottom, you wanna do the same thing. Alright, so there you go. That one's a little bit harder to take off, so just <laughs> keep that in mind. Now, there's no specific way I'm putting them. All you gotta do is put them the bottom side in and then the top one. So give me one second. And the next one. And there you have it. So once you have those clicked in, what you want to do is reassemble everything else. Now what I recommend is that when you assemble everything, let me just zoom out a bit. What I recommend is that once you reassemble everything, just put one or two screws on each corner and flip it over and turn it back on so that you can know that everything worked fine. So just make sure that your computer says eight gigabytes and you're good to go. So I just started rebooting it up. So one thing to keep in mind is that if you hear any clicking or any sounds right before it turns on or as it's rebooting, you know that you've done something wrong or, is it, or that there's something wrong with the RAM that you have purchased. So now that we're booting it up, we're gonna see how it went. Now something that you want to keep in mind is that normally when you reboot a computer after reinstalling new RAM or upgrading it some, with some RAM, uh, it'll take a little bit longer than your normal boot up. So that's normal. Don't get frightened. It's normal for it to do that. Alright, so all it's going to ask for is my password. Let me just fast forward through that. Alright guys, so all we're going to do next is just double check that everything went well and that our RAM was able to be upgraded, you know, nice and safely and nothing went wrong. So what you want to do is you're going to want to hit the Apple at the top left corner. 
go hit about this smack and you're gonna be able to tell what processor and what memory it has so let's just zoom in a little bit so as you can tell we have still the 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i and we have upgraded our RAM to 8 gigabytes so as you can tell everything was successful and there you have it guys there is your how to uh, upgrade your RAM for a 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro 2000 late to 2012 model if you have any questions on any of the RAM that I use, don't worry about the products that I use. They're going to be in the description below, links to where you can get it. Now just keep in mind that I purchased the Cons Air RAM at Best Buy just because I wanted it now. I wanted it you know, in my hands as soon as possible, but you can purchase it at Amazon for a much lower price. I picked it up for $45 and it was on sale, but if you want a cheaper price, you can find it for a few bucks cheaper over at Amazon or at any other... Uh, online store. All right, so that's been another edition of Arnold's iOS. Thanks for tuning in. If you want more videos like this, please hit the like button and obviously just subscribe, comment. Uh, you know the drill. So this has been another edition of Arnold's iOS. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.